Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Scourge League 3.16. In this episode, I got adding my Animate Guardian, super cheap 15C Animate Guardian to the build, upgrading the build, day 3 build diary. We got a bunch of upgrades, how to scale the skeletons even more, how to become super smooth build. Uh, we're already up to Awakener 8, T16 mapping, absolute god gamer. Thank you guys for watching, enjoy the video. Hey, pog. I bought four Dark Dreams for, uh, like, it was 9C, 10C, 11, and 12, I think. So, <clears throat> 10, and then somewhere up here, and I made a bunch of currency. It was awesome. I was making a bunch of sales. Uh, I have another 44 chaos. So, this is 40C, and if I had to buy a Bone Helmet item level 80 right now, it would have been um, 59 or more. Probably, like, 70. Yeah, the 59 was probably not there, so this should be a lot cheaper. Item level 80, Bone Helmet Elder. Now I can also ID my own hum. Burning damage. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Carry On Corona was the fucking name that I got out of the... Wow. Okay, so crafting it, I'm gonna use an Orbo Binding. Easy for Link. And turning it rare. And maybe good mods. Boom. Plus two. Okay. Now, for actual crafting, they changed uh, resonators, right? We only have primitive now. No, I mean chaotic, no more uh, normal, only rare. And then I got 50. Uh, pristines aren't buying, but I got 50 for 14. <laughs> and then the pristines are one-to-one, -one, but I can't buy them. So they're not actually one-to-one. -one. I got two. So somebody got, like, screwed. Minion life, life. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. Boom. Crit. Another one. Minion life 20. 102 regen. Corrupting a level 20 anime guardian. And now this is my budget, 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 anime guardian, uh, vulnerability on hit glove, 84 life, armor, uh, let me put it on, boom, okay next, I went for a weapon with 12 to 15% chance to intimidate enemies for 4 seconds on hit, it's a hunter influence, and then whichever weapon you go, you have to go two of the same weapon, so I did scepters. Very cool. Next, I did an, a Scourge Corruption for Culling Strike. So it's a budget Kingmaker. Both of these cost me basically 2C total. Victorious Flight for move speed. Uh, Sam Knight Helmet. Uh, so the reses, there was a little bit... Um, I don't remember. Basically, this has Cold Res, Cold, and Lightning. And then this has Fire and Lightning. Um, and then there was some fire on one of the weapons, like 15% fire and chaos. And so I only needed a little bit of chaos and it was on the weapon. And then I have the fire, cold, and lightning all here. Um, and so with my tree, they'll have 83 res, they'll be LA weakness immune. He has 80, uh, 75 chaos and he has a lot of armor. These bases have so much armor, 400, 1460. You could also get physical damage reduction on the chest plate on an astral plate. It was pretty cool, but I didn't get it. Uh, I didn't go for an Elder Helmet because it's really expensive. Possibly to get the nearby enemies take 9% increase fizz with getting all the extra stuff I needed. Uh, so this is super budget enemy guardian just in case he dies. I'll upgrade after. And then we have this chest bullet. Boom. And so here's my enemy guardian. He's going to cull. He's going to intimidate. He's going to um, replace my vulnerability so I gain an entire gem slot. I don't have to cast vulnerability anymore. Oh my fu so good it's so good so now i can gain back desecrate which is corpses and that's uh helpful for my plague bringer and my flesh offering and my offering mastery because i put a point in the 20 percent offering um and so yeah now i could get the desecrate back in and that's absolutely huge vulnerability is automated and hopefully it is good <laughs> nice so yeah, now my animate guardian has, uh, it says 67, 
67,000 life on the gem. It's a level 20 animate guardian. Well, I scaled it up to 24, and then it has the minion life 20. Uh, it's pretty cool. And I could also, it has 83 max res. It has some decent armor. It has 75 chaos. I could also give it, uh, instead of 83 max res, I could give it elemental army and raise its max res, and we could get it to 88 instead of having zombies in the build. But I like having zombies, and I'm pretty sure, actually, because of the wand upgrades uh, that we did, now we have um, an extra zombie. And if I get the extra level on the specter, we'll have an extra specter as well, or I can go for the intelligence skill gems amulet. So this is really fucking powerful, the uh, upgrades I made, the extra levels for the survivability of my minions, and then the scaling and the extra zombie and the extra specter potentially if I get one more level. Um, I want the extra Val Skelly 21, obviously, and I want the specter 21, and I want the anime guardian 21, and I want all the awakened gems, and so much shit to do. <laughs> So yeah, now I want to go over what, what I've done uh, as like a cumulative, like what has happened overall. I upgrade the wands from the minion damage essence to spell skill, skill gems. This was like 5c uh, to upgrade to plus ones. And this is extra levels on all my minions, which is really good for their survivability, damage, everything. Um, the scaling, and then we got the zombie to 25, which gets us an extra zombie. We can get an extra specter level to get us, uh, an extra specter. Uh, we added the animate guardian so that we could get the vulnerability on the curse on the glove corruption so that I was able to, um, not have to run vulnerability in the build so I could run the extra gem so I could get the extra desecrate in the build. Uh, that's really sick. And then, uh, our current progress, actually, uh, we've been able to push up to Awakener 8. Uh, and then this is now uh, progress towards our first Awakener 8. Uh, so I have all the watchstones. Uh, my map completion is effectively 103.5, but it's the new 69. So I stopped at 69 because it's nice. And then nine Awakening bonus objectives. And uh, so we're, I'm really deep into the Atlas, and I'm at the point of pushing my uh, Atlas passives. So I have most of them. I'm 6-way fight here, I'm 10-way fight, 10-way fight, 10-way fight, and so I'm on the last Atlas passive for these regions, and I have two more for this region. Then I have the middle Atlas passive, and then my Atlas is done, uh, and then I already started a little bit on my heist as well. I started doing my low-level heist, and I'm already at 14,000 rogue markers. Heist is really profitable, dude, it's actually insane, and I also found my crimson oils were 3C, my violet oils were 1.5C, my teal is half a chaos, so oils uh, from blight are worth a lot, uh, I found that orbs of regret were worth a lot, 1.5 per fusings were worth a lot, uh, I found a lot of stuff that I had farmed worth a lot and so i started selling it uh, my essences of dread apparently are like 7c but they're not selling and uh, so i made all these upgrades uh so the plus two the new helmet that helmet craft was absolutely insane i i did the crazy 40c dark dreams elder bone home 80 and then i got minion life 20 in only a few tries and i checked the odds on it and it was like a seven one in seven to get minion life 20 with 20 life and i was like well that's good enough to keep then that's uh a few like seven chaos in tries just to get those two mods and then we got the high regen and these other two mods are kind of funny to see a seven link helmet is kind of funny this early on um and then i was thinking about it. i'm like how do i get the burning damage to work oh let's go in let's go infernal legion guys and we have the concentrated effect which kind of ruins our specter aoe but it will do more damage so maybe the thing will do damage yeah um it's pretty interesting overall the concentrated effect and burning damage shouldn't affect the zombie or the anime guardian though pretty neat though overall so sick that i hit such a crazy craft has area damage oh the concentrated effect should help the zombie though for damage um it's actually such a crazy helmet so weird <laughs> and then i like my dark dreams exploit to get around the uh the price of the of the elder bone helmet it was it was like 60 70 c and i only paid 40 it was great and then i was looking I, I upgraded my items i got a little bit more lightning and chaos res on the belt i got um some cold res on the boot and i got uh, a new ami with cold res instead of dexterity and then i upgrade the wands to the plus ones instead of minion damage for the extra minion scaling and minion life etc yeah all right another upgrade we uh i i changed some of the skill tree so i took out the starter minion damage from the pathing into the guardian templar 
and I took jewel sockets now because we have currency, we're getting money, um, not poor anymore. I have an extra ADC on top of all the upgrades I made. I've just been liquidating stuff constantly, like looking at shit I had, uh, I had a gilded, uh, a gil, uh, a gilded bestiary scarab and, uh, mi these tainted mythic orbs that apparently are worth a lot. Yeah. So I upgraded some more stuff, put in this jewel, which got me res in life. And then, um, with this res, I was able to change the craft on my wand to trigger. And so now I have trigger in my build. And so I can automatically trigger the desecrate flush offering without having to manually cast it. And so I don't have to cast the um, flush offering desecrate or the vulnerability now. And now we're just a skelly flame dash build and, it, and it's sick. Uh, it's going to feel way better and we're automatically casting the, the flush offering when we're triggering. Uh, it's really sick, and this should feel really good. Another thing, uh, I started leveling up Animate Guardians in the offhand. I recommend to put offhand weapons on with Animate Guardian uh, in it, so f six blue, uh, six red for Animate Guardian, and because it's 20 chaos just for a level 20 Animate Guardian, and that's not counting the corruption. So this is just literally free money. You're you're getting 120 chaos uh, just for leveling up your animate guardians in your offhand. Enjoy the free money, boys. Awakened melee splash is only 5c, uh, 5c. So this is a shout out. You should get this. That's really cheap and uh, it's a small upgrade. Yeah, so then I wanted to show my POB, my new updated, it's only level 90, and we've already transitioned to this super smooth build, so it has the different pathing with the uh, spiritual command, so we could use attack skills, um, our regen's really high, it has an extra 100 and something because of the helmet that's not being counted, 102. Um, we have the Elder Helm in, we have the Animate Guardian in, we have the Automated Vulnerability, we Automated Desecrate Flesh Offering, um... We have the space for all the stuff. I'm only missing like Val Haste and Con Convocation, which is my cast on death portal right now. And so I'm only using the cast on death portal for mapping, which is basically because of Scourge. And then for everything else, Heist, Delve, etc., I won't be using cast on death portal. And instead we'll use Convocation, Left Click, and, um, and Val Haste. Yeah. So this looks really sick. I'm very happy with the current spot of the build, but I wanted to update where the POB is obviously so I have another POB link in the description below of our day three and how smooth this is looking and uh <laughs> I'm really happy with with how strong the skeleton build is and now how smooth it feels too oh uh, we're still pretty squishy still still pretty squishy but we're getting we're getting tankier we got the endurance charges last uh episode and uh now we have the extra smooth build well we can also soon get a kingmaker on the animate guardian to replace those uh intimidate and culling strike weapon, but uh, either way, nice video, nice, uh, and a lot of upgrades, huge amount of upgrades. Uh, another upgrade I made was uh, I automated some flasks. I did the, if you don't know, last season they added these orbs called instilling and, and kindling. So we like instilling. You can use instilling to automate orbs, I mean, automate flasks. So this quicksilver, when I reach uh, full charges on this quicksilver, it automatically gets used. So as soon as I gain charges, boom. And then this one, use when you become shocked. So I'm shock immune now, just because of this granite flask, which is really sick. And uh, I, I didn't automate the other two because I'm pretty low on the orbs. I also wanted to give a shout out to this. Uh, Rico mentioned, dude, you should try out the green specter. So if you haven't tried it, and if you have it, so I have the dark wood carry-on golem project ray zombie and the dark wood ray specters. Um, this is what the dark wood ray specter looks like in game for the new um the new demon harpies they look pretty cool they're all gl green and glowy and they have the red face and it's also glowy and molten and really sick looking uh yeah and then we have the project zombie and the carry on golem all really sick they match together i just wanted to mention this because i thought that the green specter looks really sick but you may not be able to see it um and i was using the celestial before I'm gonna throw in this extra tip, okay? Um, I wasn't gonna do it, but I, but I, I think it's important because we're at that point where I'm probably gonna transition throughout into this today, and I want to let people know in this video before I do it, because I already have it in mind. Okay, so we've made all these changes, we've made all these upgrades. 
Now something I plan to do is, uh, I mentioned heist for like 5 seconds in this video. I did uh, some of my item level 68 to 73 contracts, 72 contracts. Uh, I got all the way up to unlocking uh, Gianna. Uh, you can see how to unlock them on my Twitch. I have a command for how to unlock the heist crew. But basically, uh, I, pr I plan to do some more heist up until the 81 probably. All of my um, contracts up to 81 minimum. Because then I'll be doing basically staying at T14 plus uh, for the rest. And so we won't want to get anything under 81 for anything. It'll be great. Uh, I'll just be a T14 min gamer. And then... The, the other thing, so what I was going to say is uh, I already ran those ones, and what I did is I took the zombie out of the helmet, I put it in the chest plate instead of the skeleton, I put the skeleton in the helmet. You could also put Convocation, you could also put Elemental Army Temporary just in case and uh, whatever, but Convocation is really good for the zombies for, for uh, Heist, so that you don't have to summon anything in Heist, you all have them automatically coming back to you, you can also take the new Mastery for i think is it defense so you could take it here yeah. convocation has increased cooldown recovery rate you can do that um to use convocation more and then you left click convocation and you put zombies in the chest plate and you go um you go heisting and then the reason for uh switching to zombies is for that afk perma uptime damage it, you don't need a lot of damage you just need you want them to be all the time and you don't want to have to keep summoning skeletons every single room uh and every time you're skeletons on summon it, every single height like it's it's quite a lot and uh it's already very click intensive in heist so be adding uh making the build feel nice is highly recommended you don't need as much power as you do for scourge or mapping or bossing you know so highly recommend that and then when you switch into zombie you're you have awaken melee splash so i recommend to switch awaken melee splash to ruthless um so your six link zombie is zombie minion damage uh awaken melee fit well min melee fizz brutality multi-strike and then Ruth ruthless instead of melee splash uh, the skeletons have the melee splash the zombies don't need it yeah, there you go. Um, then that was just a little shout out for Heist. And the reason for this, uh, that's very important too, because you're all like, well, you told us how to do it or what, how, what to change for the build to do Heist, but why? I also mentioned you can change the Cast on Death portal to Convocation and Val Haste. Uh, so you have plenty of room to swap it for feels feel good quality of life for heist and then the reason you would swap it why you're doing this is because heist is actually pretty good and i was doing some this morning and i'm like oh my god this is so rewarding this is so good and i'm leveling on my heist crew so you just kind of have to do it all over again you have to level up your heist crew get the gear get them unlocked uh and so i wanted to help you be able to do that already in our build we're like day four now going on day four and i've already prepared you to get into end game heist uh go level up your people get all the people and start preparing your gear uh, i'll probably make an updated video for 3.16 for the heist crew gear because uh, i love doing that and uh yeah heist is actually really sick with our build when you switch to zombies so highly recommend and it's really easy to swap the only thing i lose is the plus two socketed duration doesn't work on the zombies so i could wear a normal chest plate instead of this technically but it's fine I just want to give that extra shout out to Heist. Pog. Oh, oh! I also know there's going to be that one guy who goes and does Heist because of me, because of this video, because of that clip, four minute clip, uh, talking about Heist and changing the zombies. And he's going to play it and he's going to get stupidly fucking rich off of, off of Heist and thank me. And I will know that it's because I put out that one thing. Uh, it's great, dude. It's great. Perfect. Now I'm going to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon, my YouTube members who financially support the channel. I can't do this without you guys, so thank you guys for all the support. And thank you to anyone who joins the Patreon of the YouTube members today. Whoops. Wrong one. <laughs> I was supposed to be on the screen the whole time. Thank you to my Patreon, my YouTube members who financially support the channel. I can't do this without you guys, so thank you guys for all the support. And thank you to anyone who joins the Patreon of the YouTube members today. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!